Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Karianne in the side of the Christ, the side of the Messiah, the side of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth, all over in the diaspora. I greet all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for, without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glory his name Yesiah the Christ all right you can skip this bit and find the main message I am going to do some housekeeping remember my name sister Carrie Ann it is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked dirty devil you need to rebuke and report them please watch the video to the end there's a sinner's pride there for you um, we want you into the kingdom of a higher glory be to the most high. if I don't say the sinner's prayer please check the description box all right okay thank you for liking the videos thank you for watching the videos thank you for sharing the videos thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters a higher eternally bless you really really appreciate it thank you for those of you who have subscribed to the channel i pray that this channel will be the home for you for the prophetic where we will both learn and grow together in yesiah the christ all right thank you for those of you beautiful beloveds in the most uh, higher thank you thank you so so very very much from the bottom of my heart for those of you who have blessed me um with a little love offering through whether it's been through paypal on this platform by hitting the thanks button or uh, wherever else you send a little um love offering for me thank you very 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 much all my details are in the description box or the pink comment section all right we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful messiah Yesiah the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist brothers and sisters daniel 7 verse 25 is truth satan through the antichrist hold on one second satan through the antichrist will seek to change times laws and seasons and let me finish this change time laws and seasons sorry and it will be given to him in his hands Yesiah says pray to what yes to be found worthy to escape all these wicked things coming upon the earth brothers and sisters i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 the woman in revelation 12 flees into the wilderness she has a 12 stars on her head representing the 12 tribe of jacob the sons of jacob the sea that went through the transatlantic slavery scattered hurt and harm throughout the four corners of the earth the most that higher is going to regather his people many people don't believe because they say that the regathering of the true hebrew children has happened in 1948 they say god went down into you know europe in 1948 and told the europeans to go back to their homeland israel that is not true and it's not them the true hebrew yeshelites or the people highest people the people of the book are those who went through the transatlantic slavery don't let nobody fool you and tell you different things brothers and sisters i'm telling you ahaya is going to do the regathering the 1948 regathering is not of the most high i don't know who's that from but it's not of him so he will do the regathering of his people. It's called the Great Worldwide Second Exodus, where Ahia takes his people to flee into the wilderness. That is coming up, all right? After the Second Exodus, then the sixth seal open up. That is Yesiah coming in the clouds with power and great glory. We have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She used to hide sweeties and toys. And when we're near to the stuff, she used to sing a song called How Near You Are. Fitting song for these end times because we are near. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near and we can sing that song with that confidence. All right, brothers and sisters, I have two ministries, isn't it? One for the end time prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yasha Helites. All right, brothers and sisters. So, this is a um, end time prophetic um, video, you know. 
where do I start? Where do I start? I think there's going to be loads of videos leading up to this Babylonian U.S. election because it has to be right amongst the people, isn't it? Deception is very, very real. And, you know, the delusion is strong. And so I don't want these people underneath the delusion. It don't want us in deception. And certainly, certainly, it doesn't want us to believe a what? Right. Believe a lie. So Ahaya will use his people, he will use his prophets and prophetesses and his servants to wake up. That's what you call waking up, yeah? To wake up the sleeping church. So they understand the times and the seasons that we're living in. I've done many videos concerning the Babylonian U.S. election, right? Babylon U.S., okay? It's a Babylonian election, really and truly, brothers and sisters. It is what it is, right? Um, so I don't want, really want to go over it too much, but I always talk about this. I have been warning concerning Babylon U.S. election, particularly the 2020 election. The most that Ahaya has given me loads and loads and loads a lot of visions dreams revelation and impression that i've done through videos and they are still come on our church they are still ongoing i said to the most that uh, father 2024 hardly i might get one and a little snippet one and two vision here and there but nothing as what it was in 2020 concerning the election and i said to the father i said higher 2024 babylon u.s election i haven't really got any vision so to speak of um you know and the lord says to me i've given you most of them already in 2020 and they're still ongoing not that he's not going to give me one and two here and there in 2024 but what you've got to understand that you see the, the, the issue with brothers and sisters when i come in here and i give a vision people expect it to happen tomorrow and it don't work like that it don't work like that i mean then you've got to speak to john the revelator isn't it in revelation i mean over two thousand nearly two thousand years um he's given the book of revelation and it's like the prophecies are still ongoing all right so don't be too hard on the prophets and the prophetesses who are giving revelation and you expect the visions to come through <coughs> sorry the bible says that i'm <coughs> sorry though the vision tarry right it shall surely come to pass now the most that gave me a vision concerning babylon u.s election on the 24th of July, 2024. 24th of July, 2024. The other day, Ahaya, yesterday actually, because today's the 25th, isn't it? Ahaya gave me a very powerful vision. Now, just to recap, I think what I have to do, brothers and sisters, when I'm doing Babylon US election, I have to do a, a little tiny bit of recap, just in case if you're new and you're watching. So just a quickly, quickly recap before I get into the vision, all right? Now, on this channel, I don't know about anybody else's channel, all right? But on this channel, if you're here, if you're listening to us, all right, listen to me, on this channel, um, we say it as it is. And that's why many people say that I'm a false prophetess. Because I just tell you as it is and it sounds foreign to a lot of people. So on this channel, what the Lord has shown me and I proclaim it to the brothers and sisters is number one. <clears throat> let's go back from Obama. So Barack Obama, Barry, for the purpose of the video, I'll call him Barry. All right. So Barry is the, is the rider on the white horse in Revelation um, 6, the first seal, the rider on the white horse. He came, that seal opened up. Well, it was already opened by Yesiah the Christ in John's time, right? <clears throat> but the um but the but now is manifesting in the physical. So the seal has opened up really and truly, and I shall say that in the videos that I've done. The, the seals have already opened up um in when 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 John the Baptist declared that Yesiah was the only one who was found worthy to open up the seal. So them seals have been opened up, but now it's now coming in the physical. So 2008, you see the manifestation of the rider on the white horse, which is Barack Obama. So what happened in 2008, he won two terms, and then he went into perdition. People don't understand. That's why he's not up front 
at the moment. So he went into perdition, still in perdition, really. Yes, he's ruling Joe Biden from the back. We all know that. But literally, he's in perdition. He's preparing his body, all right, for the, for the incarnation of Satan. So Joe Biden came on the scene in 2020, all right? So before I go to Joe Biden, then you have Donald Trump, who took over from Barack Obama temporarily. And with Donald Trump, what the most has shown me that he will be deleted. Whether it's the real one or the fake one, which I think is going to be the fake one, he will be deleted at some point by a black man. That's what the most has shown me. Somebody black is going to take him out. All right. Um, so a deletion of that man is coming up. And he knows that as well. There's no, it, that's why probably it's going to be a fake Trump that's going to be pronounced. All right. He will be deleted at some point. <laughs> so that is um trump and then you then i just jump quickly and i go to um joe biden in 2020 all right so joe biden took over from trump in 2020 but his time is short biden won't finish his presidency he's not going to finish that presidency so listen there's a lot of <laughs> demonic workings in the background okay um so that's joe and we know that with joe biden it it's Barack that's been running the show. There's no if, but some maybe. Barack is telling him what to do. So we all know that, all right? Then you have, um, so the other day, Biden said, look, I'm not going to run a second term for um, any re-election business, but, you know, for whatever reason. But we know the reason that mentally he's not well, because that's what the most has shown me in 2020, that mentally Joe Biden is not um, cognitively, um, he's losing memories. That's what's going on. Most I showed me that in 2020. Um, done the video and everything about that. I really don't want to go into that. Um, but also the vision of 2020 when the Lord showed me his memories going. I saw Michelle Obama taking over from Biden. All right. But let's rest that right there. Um, so that is what's going on with Biden at the moment. He's not running. So now his endorse is um, Kamala Harris to become president, all right? Um, and I said it, that Kamala won't be president. I know a lot of people in the comment section have been saying, since it's a Kerry, she will be president, she will be president, she will. Well, according to the vision, according to revelation, according to prophecy, she's not gonna reach that status. It doesn't matter if she's been nominated, it doesn't matter if she's been endorsed by whosoever, that, that don't matter. It's her literally ruling Babylon US as the head of state that is where she won't fulfill that role so being a nominee and being crowned the nominee and this and that that that's 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 not here or there but it's her actually winning to be crowned uh babylon u.s um chief or leader of that country right so that's kamala and that is where we are so ahaya gave me a very powerful um a pow powerful vision uh, yeah, quickly go back to Kamala and in a vision I had in 2021 um, I saw Kamala in a red car and she was signing loads of documents a car was filled with paper and she was talking to somebody and she told the person that she's basically relinquishing her post come on no church listen to what I'm saying I understand prophecy I cannot lie I never lies so in the vision in 2021 Kamala um, she told someone that she's not gonna do this job that she's doing anymore that she's stepping away she's relinquishing her post she don't want it i don't know what happened but in the, the vision didn't show me exactly why she re, she relinquished her post all right sorry i'm just looking at something um in the vision in 2021 but it was very that's the word she used relinquish that's the, that's the actual word that Kamala used that, listen, I'm stepping away from my post. I don't want to be in this position. And she gave it up. Relinquish. That's the word she used. Relinquish. I don't know. Some of you in the comment section, you're saying, oh, you know, Sister Karen, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Other prophets. You love to compare me. Brothers and sisters, don't compare me to anybody, please. If you're watching other people's channel, that's fine. Do your stuff. Watch their channel. But don't come in the comment section and compare me to everybody, right? Because I'm, I am my own unique person. I get my prophecies straight from the most high. I don't follow the mainstream media. Even if the mainstream media is saying 
opposite to what I'm saying. Let them say opposite to what I'm saying. I am following the footstep of the most High. All right. So um, don't compare me to anybody in the comment section. Please don't do it. All right. But, uh, but yes, but in the vision in 2021, Kamala Harris stepped away from her post. I don't know the reason. I hired an insurance to me, but she relinquished it. So she will not become president. I'm telling you as it is. It, it ain't gonna happen. All right. So that is Camilla. Good old Camilla. All right. Let's quickly jump to the vision now. Right. So I had a vision on the 24th of July, 2024, just the other day. Right. In this vision, I was in like a, it was almost like a conference room. Not really sure, but it's, it felt like a conference room. And I saw in this room, there were Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, some more people, don't know who they are, but there were two special, I call them special, I don't know. I use the word special for now, because I want you to listen to the vision. But there were two special people that had their backs turned to everybody. Nobody could see their faces. And I saw them, but not their faces at the time. All right. It was somebody black and a white man. So I said somebody black because the person that was black had long hair. All right. But I'll um, let me go back. I'll, I'll come back to that. But I just want to set the scene. So there were two people, a black and a white person in the corner. Nobody could see the faces yet because the back were turned to the people that was in this conference room. Um let's set the scene for Kamala Harris so I saw Kamala Harris in this vision oh she was happy like Larry she was skipping she was skipping about going around hugging everybody shaking everybody's hand very very happy to be on the ballot so to speak she was happy that she was what's the word <coughs> sorry brothers and sisters it's horrible it's the weather outside um Kamala Harris was happy, very, very happy that she, she was on course to say, let, let's just say that, right? Hold on, brother and sister. Yeah, sorry about that, brother and sister, my little son came in. Um, where was I? Yeah, so Kamala Harris was happy like Larry. She was happy, walking, skipping, big smile on her face, shaking everybody's hands, you know, because she was on course. She, in the vision, she was on course to probably get the nomination or, or I don't think it was presidency. It wasn't that. It was, she was on course. Thank you, Lord. Yes, she was on course to get the nomination to become the democratic leader, business, whatever, whatever, however they do it over there in Babylon, US. So she was happy, you know, very, very happy. Now, somebody popped up in the vision and I've never... I don't even know why he popped up, but I'm going to tell you who he is. Pierce Morgan. I don't know if you know Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan is a British journalist or somebody like that, right? But good old Pierce Morgan. Huh, first time I've ever seen this man. This man popped up in the vision. Remember, remember, I've set the scene for you, right? So the two people, the backs, were still turned to the wall. So nobody could see the faces. But people know that they were there, all right? So, Pierce Morgan came over to me and he said, these are, I'm going to try to paraphrase what he says. He says, Camilla is excited now, but there's two more people to be added to the ballot. That's what Pierce said to me. Pierce Morgan. That's what he said. He said, she's excited, very excited now, but there's two more people to be added to the ballot and he said, like he said to me, go and tell people that there's two people to be added. And he said, you see those two people in the corner that the backs are turned to us. Those are the two people that's going to be added to the ballot. So when he said that to me, brothers and sisters, it was almost I was going around people. I was going around in this conference room telling everybody, look, two more. I know Kamala is on course to get the, you know, she's on the ballot and stuff. But two more people are going to be added to this ballot. Camilla overheard what I said and she turned around and she stopped smiling. But the smile that she stopped, she didn't completely stop smiling, 
but you could you could sense that something was taken as a left her that something happened the happiness as a left her because i was going around saying to people there's two more people to be added to the ballot there's two more people to be added to the ballot there's two more people to be so she overheard me saying it so she was still smiling but it wasn't as joyous skipping bouncing about happy happy because she heard what i said it was almost like i'm almost the nominee you know uh, what's this all about two more people no 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 you know i'm almost the winner to become the leader anyways so when she heard that she would continue to go around greeting people but she wasn't smiley smiley that much i then proceeded to walk over to these two people that has their backs turned in the room remember i told the brothers and sisters everybody could see them people knew that these two people were there a black person and a white person right in the corner but the face was not shown so i began to walk towards these two people with their backs turned to the wall. And as I was walking, brothers and sisters, in the realm of the spirit, I saw, and I want you to listen to me very carefully, I saw the letter N. Don't know what that means, but I'm telling you what it is. Because, you know, I don't interpret my visions. I really and truly, I really don't. If I have to, I have to, but I don't, right? But I saw the letter N on the white man's back. Big N. I don't know what the N stands for, but there's a big N on his back. And on the black person's back, I saw either the letter P. That was that one. There was a lot of num there was a letter that was flashing on the black person's back. Whereas a white guy is just the letter N. That's it. So I know the N was for him. It was right on his back. That's it. So I don't know what that N means. What is an initial? I don't know. But there was an N on that white man's back. Black person, there was so much letter. <laughs> there was so much letter flashing, brother. But one of the letters I caught was P. I think there was L. P. There was an L going off. And there was some more. There was some more. But anyways, anyways. Um... So I proceeded to go around to look at the faces. Now the white guy was tall, right? Uh, and the black, right, let's talk about the black person. So the black person had the long hair. So when you, from the back, it looks like a woman. From the back, it looked like they had long wave, you know, like wig, must be wig or something like that. Um, black shoulder length, okay? So when I go around to look at the person's face, um, the white man, I've never seen him. I, I, I don't know who he is. I have no idea. All right? I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen this one before. Um, but he was tall. Probably, maybe, I don't know, six foot or something like that. Maybe six foot one. But he was tall. The black person, their face begun to, what's the word I'm looking for? Their face begun to uh, distort. Sorry, that's the word. There's a distortion. So sometimes it looks female and sometimes it looks male. So it was like that. A female looking and then a male. Oh, funny, a twin one. This is a black person, right? So female sometimes looks and then an, a male. But the, the black person was tall as well. But in the vision, I must say in the vision, it came in my spirit that could this be Michelle Obama? But... It wasn't made 150% clear, clear, clear. Cause I was, cause I was, I think because I was so, um, I was focusing on the face. So even my thoughts of who this was, it wasn't too much focus on. I was just looking at the face, the distortion of the face, male, female, male, female, like that. But they were tall. I then saw Joe Biden. Um, so these two people, can't remember if they, I know in the vision, Pierce Morgan said, they, those two will be added to the ballot. The, the, the white man with the N initial, <coughs> sorry, brother and sister, the white guy with the N initial, and the black, the, not the, color, the black male or female, all right, the, the face, right? And... Um, 
they're they're going to add it to the ballot as well. So I saw, yeah. So the initials for the black one was L and P, P something. I don't know. But there were loads of initials though. It wasn't just one. But definitely P as an initial is there. L as an initial. Don't know. Because the numbers were floating. Whereas, you see, this is a thing. That's why I can, I can confidently tell you that the white guy had an initial N. Big N on his back. And that was it. It, it, it didn't move. There was no other numbers. Oh, sorry. There were no other letters. It's just N. And he just stood there with the white guy. The black one, that was quite tricky. Because the numbers, the letters were floating. They were, sometimes you see the P, sometimes you see the L. I don't even know if it's an O coming through. Because there was different letters bobbing off with this black one. Uh, something is wrong, isn't it, really? But anyways. So those two um, in the vision they were going to be added to the to the ballot as well then i saw joe biden and when i saw joe biden joe biden <laughs> uh, this vision is just okay when i saw joe biden Joe Biden has just woken up from sleep. <laughs> he was sleeping. He was, I, I forgot to mention that bit to you, but I did say that he was there in the conference room, but what I meant, forgot to mention is that Biden was sleeping. And anyway, when he became awake and everybody was going off and he came out, is Biden. I went over to him and I think I said something to Joe. Can't remember what I said. Can't remember exactly what I said. But his response to me, Joe Biden's response in the vision to me was, you see all of this that's going off here and you were laughing. He said, so he said see all of this that's going off here. It's all one big joke. That's what he said. He said, it's all a joke. And when he said that to me, my spirit was hurt because there's so many people. Because I began to think about all the people who are believing in the Babylon, Babylonian election business. So many people. You can't tell them anything. You, you just, you just can't. You, can't just, you only can just give the word and that's about it. But you can't tell them that you've been taken for a ride. Because they believe in the system so much, right? But that's what Joe said to me. He said, all of this is one big joke. And I suppose it includes him stepping down and, you know, not running for president and being sick here and there and memory loss here and there and everywhere. It's all a joke. That's what he said. It's all a joke. One big joke. So that's where the vision ended. Sorry, by the way, the vision ended with him saying that it's all a joke. Like I say, brothers and sisters, <laughs> keep, keep on saying that. Like I say, you know, everybody confident Kamala is going to become president. Like, it doesn't matter what the, in the nomination, even if they're going to the oh, nomination, leader, this, that, or what of you. It don't matter, but the, the thing what I'm saying is the presidency is the chief and command of Babylon US. It's not gonna happen. That's what the Lord showed me, you know. So um it's it's a lot, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Because prophecy has been fulfilled, time is running out, time is getting short. The second exodus is upon us, and we have to leave. We have to leave Babylon at some point. Now, if we are looking at Revelation 17, and I use Revelation 17 as my guide. Bible talks about seven kings. Didn't talk about a queen. If it said there are seven kings and one queen, then you could say, okay. 
But then people are saying, well, Camilla, you know, she could be Alpha, uh, Adam. Well, I did do a video about her be, you know, in the realm of the spirit. <clears throat> it's like a, a manly aura in the spirit realm. It's a male, a male aura in the realm of the spirit uh, with her. But in the physical, um, people say, no, you know, it's a, a Adam. Camilla is an Adam in the physical unless we have concrete evidence in the physical in the realm of the spirit she's an adam in the realm i can confidently tell you that she's an adam but in the physical i want to mean physical going through the changes to become you understand a female and all of that so that's something that we have to look at but from where i'm standing at the moment um in the physical um i'm gonna say a, a female in the physical all right if anything changes i'm not sure of anything but that's just me like i say in the realm of the spirit in the spiritual realm because of her spirit she's got a manly spirit she's like a proper alpha up there in the realm but in the physical what we're seeing i say she's you know she is a she it's a female right unless there's concrete evidence to say that it's um it's a male then that's different then then if it's a male then if it's a male it's a king all right but anyways so but what the bible is very clear about is that um let me get let me quickly find the scripture hold on a second but it's a hold on i just quickly want to read um revelation 17 um revelation chapter 17 and verse 11 all right verse 11 is very powerful and there's loads of mystery there's loads of mystery brothers and sisters there's loads of mystery there's lo loads of mystery in the in that passage the bible says that and the beast that was and is not even he is the eighth and is of the seven so when baba talks about the seven kings i've done a, a detailed video on this one already so when revelation 17 talks about the seven king the seven kings so what they're what what the bible is telling you that the antichrist antichrist is called beast dragon you know um son of perdition this is the antichrist the bible is talking about so that's why we're saying that on this channel we identify who the antichrist is that's how we can confidently we can confidently say that revelation 10 is talking about talking about babylon us because the antichrist is of the seven the beast is of the seven kings so it's the last seven presidents of america right babylon us and um so there are there are seven kings five are fallen and one is and the other is yet to come right so the one that's fallen is trump and the one the one before Trump is Obama, isn't it? Right? So, and then you have Biden and all of that. But what you've got to understand is that though physically Biden is there in front of the people, but the decision, the decision is not his, it's Obama. Every single decision has to pass through him. Because he is the beast. He's been the beast since 2008, brothers and sisters. This is the reason why I'm saying with Kamala Harris. Because you have to understand scripture. For America to have a, a female president, I mean, if that happens, then this prophecy is, we're not here. That's all I'm going to say. If Kamala Harris, that's why that is the reason why Hillary Clinton is not that she couldn't have the presidency. Of course she could, but it's not scriptural. 
It's not scripture. The Bible talks about seven kings and the all in format. It's not like seven kings and then it have a little break and talks about a queen or a female. It's not, you know, Revelation 17, verse 10. And there were seven kings. Five are fallen and one is and the other is yet to come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So, and then the Bible jumped on and said that the beast is of the seven. And we know who the beast is. The beast is the Antichrist. And we've identified that Barry is the biblical Antichrist. So that's the reason why bro, you have to check scriptures. You see, just because people are running up and down and saying, oh, this, oh, that, you know, me, they're saying, you have, you have to go by Bible. Very, very important. You have to go by Bible. And if, like I say, if Kamala Harris becomes Babylon U.S. president, then we are not here. This scripture, and I believe the most that we are here. So that's why I can confidently tell you that Kamala Harris will not become Babylon U.S. president. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. So, Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lie. The thing with prophecies, when you're giving prophecies, when you have your own, um, when you have your own um, story, in your head how things is going to play out when you hear the prophecies like mm, i don't believe that but it <laughs> you know prophecies prophecies it is what it is I, I i encourage the body of christ i encourage you who are watching me to go and study revelation 17 verse 10 and 11 onwards you'll understand what is going on you have to study it so that you, you're not go that's so that you're not going to be lost in deception the same, it's the same thing like 2020. Everybody, oh, Donald Trump is going to win. Like, Trump, no, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. Trump, 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 Trump. And the Lord says, stand still. I have given you the vision. When everybody was saying it, the Lord said, stand still. He said, stand still. Because let me tell you something as a prophetess, because I'm only a human being, right? When Haya gives you a prophet, what, sorry, when Haya gives you a prophecy and you're the only person, right, that's saying it and nobody else, it's tough because then they start to quit. It's not that you don't believe the most time, but it's almost as if, oh my days, everybody's saying Donald Trump is going to win, even the churches and pastors and little old Carrion on YouTube with our little channel. You know, it's telling the few brothers and sisters who follow her, listen, he ain't going to win it in 2020. It's not him, it's Barack Obama. But it's going to show through the form of Joe Biden. And people didn't believe. So what I'm saying to you is, brothers and sisters, you know, you have to understand prophecy. You have to understand what is going on. Trump is going to come back, but it's going to be through a coup keep on saying it it's going to be through a coup which means that babylon us will turn upside it down and from that coup they're gonna delete him and that's how barack obama will come back through a special election so the question is what you're saying to me well who is going to be president hmm. by now you know who is it gonna who, well who is it gonna how how will we wait and we'll see I only can give you what the most I gives to me. There's other things just there's other things you have told me, but I'm not allowed to release it yet. I can't just I have to wait until I have to wait until he gives me the go ahead. But the Lord has already shown me what's gonna happen between bad and stepping down and you know, when I say step down, like he's too sick to carry on. So somebody will have to take as president. And they know that. So that's what they're working on. And they don't want to give it to Kamala. I would have given it to her ages ago. Because they know Biden's well. They know. But they're bad in their time. And stuff like that. Right? So. We have to just understand prophecies. And understand what is going on. I want to say this one more time. 
Because, uh, you know, I know some brothers and sisters, the come on the channel and they'll say, oh, Sister Karen, Kamala Harris, you know, is now the nominee for the Democratic Party. I'm not, I'm not bothered about that. Like, so? I'm not bothered about that. I'm talking about her becoming president. That's the difference. That's what I've been saying, right? So, I believe the vision is true. There's some more, I don't know. I don't, you see, that's why I follow my visions and my dreams. <laughs> it's more safer for us, to be fair with you, right? So, I don't follow the news. I don't know the process of the Babylonian U.S. election business. I only can go by my vision, brothers and sisters. And from my vision, there's more people to be added to the ballot. A white man with the letter N. I don't know if there's anybody there that's got an initial with N, N on it, not sure. Um, and then somebody black, but it's a distorted face. It shows male and female. There's different letters, letter N, definitely L. I see a P, you know, um, not sure if an O has been floating as well. Not sure if the O has been floating, but lots of floats going on with the black one. But I wanted to come and release this vision to you, brothers and sisters. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with the higher, just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most higher who lives above the heavens. I eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Something in glory in Yeshua's holy name. Amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you forth less before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Isaiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen.